This is the 58th video of the Wargaming of the Battle of Gettysburg. I am playing the Union and the game's artificial intelligence is playing the Confederates. It is July 3rd, 1863, 6 a.m. Turn 110 out of 156. Invisibility is 40 hexes. Um, you hear the sound of the furnace, which is right in back of me. It'll click off here, hopefully, in a couple minutes. It's the Union Movement phase. I think I'm done with it, but let me check. But first of all, I'll set, uh, I'll change a couple settings here, put map elevations up. Okay, let's see. Let's make sure. Oh, that guy hasn't moved. He hasn't moved. Well, I guess I have to move. I have to move some guys. Uh, we've got six guns unlimbered here. That's good. We've got four unlimbered and two limbered. So we'll unlimber the two and reface them. Got two guns here. Grab one of these. Okay, let's see what we've got here. We've got two guns. Guns limbered. Come on. So we'll. Okay, I pressed the wrong button. We'll unlimber them. Bring four more guns up. Let's see if they'll fit. Yep, they will. So next turn they'll be up. Got four guns there. Send another section up here. And we'll send these two sections down here. First core. Okay, here's the sixth core. All right, here's the infantry. Now, this is right, Wheaton, 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 Wheaton. OK, 
Okay, we're going to put right off to the side. We're going to send Wheaton's Brigade down the road this way. thought I wouldn't have to do this hex by hex. Jeez, this must be an older game because you can, you have to move one hex at a time. With some of the other games I've learned you can move your whole movement just by clicking beginning and end. This one apparently you can't do it. Must be old. Okay, what do we got here? Eustace. 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 Oh, and here's Wheaton. It's weird. Just because these are Zubwabs, they get a, give it a different colored base. Uh, it's not too well thought out. Let's get this wagon off the road. Yeah, so these guys just won't... Go down the road. Now, I don't know whether it's because this monitor is kind of quirky sometimes with some of my other programs. It works great with um, the, the current games, but some of these older ones, Torbit, Torbett, Bartlett, Torbett, Bartlett. Okay, these guys are mixed up. Bartlett. Okay. Oh, there's Eustace. Shit. Well, these guys can backtrack through here. Uh, guys are kind of mixed up. Okay, we'll move Torbit down this way. This is pretty fuzzy. This is the last uh, game of this ilk I'll be playing on this computer. I'll be played on my other one. Russell. I tried um, hooking up the 58-inch television screen and the 43-inch monitor to this gaming computer with an AB switch, but that didn't work because um, it, I guess the computer logs in the 58-inch screen and then it imposes the same 
format on the 43 inch screen. So you get the same fuzziness, which surprised me. I would think you could go to either screen and if one screen was set differently from the other, you know, you would get the the setting of whatever screen you were using, but that's not true. I love the 50, oh shit, I should have sent this guy off the road. I love the 58 inch for the modern games. Like I've got Rome on there and uh, Warplan, the two Warplan games and what else do I have on there? Oh, that Civil War game. I've got to start playing that. It's a strategic Civil War game for the whole Civil War. But those look great on the 58, but these older... These older suckers won't run on it. So, I have a laptop that's supposed to be a gaming laptop. And that's what I'm running these older games on, which seems to be okay. It's not as powerful as my gaming desktop because of the nature of being a laptop doesn't have the cooling fans and so they can't put the real powerful chips in there the processors because they can't cool it off it's just one shitty little fan in there in my gaming computer I have six big ones so that makes all the difference can't cool it off it'll just burn up okay that's a six core let's go up here Okay, these guys are both routed to Confederate regiments, and these two are dismounted. Whoa, that's three, four dismounted regiments there, and another one up here, just sitting there, I guess. Okay. Now let's see. This guy's disrupted, uh, so he's kind of trapped. We'll hopefully blow him apart. And I was trying to get behind this guy. Okay, I'm going to unlimber here, and then I'll dismount. Have this guy dismount, and turn. This guy dismount and turn. And this guy. Dismount and turn. He can only fire at one guy. And all of the guys that dismounted their cavalry, they can't fire this turn. He can fire, but 
in the artillery I don't know it might be able to fire it's hard to tell because it's horse artillery so if it doesn't move too far I think it's like half movement I should have kept count of its movement but if it moves over half movement it can't fire and uh, if it moves less I think it can fire so I guess we'll see so everything else has moved so we might as well go to it confederate defensive fire see what he does two men this is too fuzzy so I got a two men one man no effect why even fire no effect no effect one man and that's it probably a total of six men I think I'll probably do better than that all right let's first of all fire these six guns 15 men and the regiment disappeared all that's left is a flag so so much for that let's see if I can fire these guys at this guy that poked his beak out yes I can 18 oh, what about these guys down here that's a long shot but it's worth a try nope okay We've got six guns here firing. Fifteen. Got six guns there. Twenty-three. Just a pinata. Six guns here. Twenty-six. I think these guys might be able to fire. Six guns there. Twenty-one. And these guys can't fire. And this artillery piece here is uncrewed. So it's of no significance. These guys have moved a little closer, but nobody's in range. Okay. Yeah, so these guys... Uh, let's see if this artillery can fire. Nope. Too bad. All right, we'll go up here. These guns can fire. Bang. Eight men. That's not very much, huh? Uh... God damn, I forgot to dismount that guy. Okay. That guy's dismounted so he can fire. It'd take all day to kill him. Okay. Let's say that's it. Next phase, Union Melee. No. Confederate movement. Okay, let's see what you're going to do. Yeah, displaying the figures are too fuzzy. I guess I won't do that anymore. Wow, he's going right up in the artillery. And he's disordered. What is this, a suicide complex? Jesus. I doubt if these guys can shoot at him, but it never hurts to try. They can, 38, holy f And if those guys can shoot at him... What? I don't have any infantry there? Oh, that was an oversight. Okay, we've got six guns here right in front of them. Bam! And 19 men, and the regiment goes away. What that accomplished, I'll never know. Doesn't seem like a very well thought out attack. Okay, let's take a look up here. Oh, this guy moved out of the artillery range, huh? Well, these guys are too far away. Well, I 
about to force him north. Uh, now this guy. Fire boat. Oh, we can only fire the artillery. Four men. You'd think it'd do better than four men. Jesus. Six men. Three men. See, I can't really move this stuff up in the woods. Well, I got nothing better to do with it, actually, with those units, so I guess I'll leave them there. Eventually, he'll either be forced back into these guys' line of fire, or hopefully it will be destroyed there in time. Okay, that's it for me. Confederate offensive fire. Three men. Oh, that's long range, no effect. Two men. No effect. Four men. Oh, that's for long range. No effect. No effect. Confederate melee. Got any? Oh, it's that same gun he keeps stepping on. Okay, Union movement, huh? Holy shit, there's two infantry line units there. Amazing. They're more than a match for me. I think I'll just turn the artillery one click. Eighty-nine men. If he charged that artillery, he'd get it. Let's move this guy up in support. This guy up in support. We're actually running a bluff. Well, we'll see what happens. I want him to go north across this stream. I don't want to have to worry about him. All right, what do we got down here? Got three guns there, two there. This guy is disordered. How the hell did he get disordered? So we'll move two guns there, deploy them. I see there's two, three, three guns unlimbered here. This is higher ground. Okay. So I've got three there, four there. Let's send two more guns up there. I'll deploy. Now, I've got a disordered guy here. So 
I want to move him out, so let's move this guy up. Move the disordered guy back. Move this guy on top. And there we go, 459. We'll move him up to replace the disordered guy. Okay, now we've got four guns here. So we'll deploy two more. So that's six. And we'll deploy. Oh, I can't reach it. Why did I drag Howard along? Put the officers back there. Okay, now well, we got a couple more guns to deploy. Now, where's that hex here that doesn't have? It's this one. You don't have any infantry. Here's 165. Here's 317. Let's see if this guy can move in there. Yep, good. There's one hex that has these leaders, Wadsworth, I think, and Reynolds was trying to rally this guy. Meredith, he shouldn't be in line. There it is, Reynolds and Wadsworth. Let's get them out of there. Whoopsie. Where's the infantry here? Oh, on top. Let's put them on the bottom of the stack. And this guy's on top. Oh, shit, that's right. He's in skirmisher mode. Let's change him back. We don't want him in skirmisher mode. Okay, how do I change him? Oh, it must be Control-C. No. Oh. Why can't I change him back? Shit. 60 men, 165. What is he? 317. Jesus, these are such lightweights back here. 124. Well, I guess we'll leave him in skirmish mode. He's only got six movement. Did I just move him in there? Maybe I did. That might be why I can't change him. I need more movement points. I guess we'll find out. I'll try again next time. Okay, so. We'll stop him right there so he can move up this road if he has to, which is where. How come nothing's labeled? Map labels. Which is actually a little round top area. That's good. Wheaton. 
this is Eustace, Eustace, Eustace. Torbit, okay, send Eustace down here. What's this? Right. Shaler, uh, Eustace, there's their colonel, well he should be with his regiment, with his brigade. Newton Shaler, 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 okay. So Eustace, we've got Torbit, Torbit, Bartlett, Torbit, Bartlett, shit. One, two, three, four. Okay, Bartlett's going to step off. And Torbett will go on ahead. Now we're half through with the time. take like three more turns to get all these guys set up and and literally uh, the only movement I'll have is fooling around with that cavalry but that's not going to amount to much up now. So I don't think it's going to be possible for the Confederates to break the line, no matter what kind of an attack they launch. And so far, they're just launching like probing attacks. I mean, it's not a massed attack. Jesus, they have nine divisions, and they come out one regiment or two regiments at a time. You're not going to carry the day like that. It's a lot harder to attack than it is to defend, and I think AI is not that capable to organize an attack. just takes more computing power than it has. It's much better in defense. Okay, that's the sixth core. Well, we're still blasting that guy. And this guy, I don't know, I'm almost done toying with him. We'll see what he does. Okay, that's all I've got to do. Two men. 
more long range fire, no effect. That's another thing AI does. Two men, three men. He fires at one man. Drop of the hat. I mean, you've got uh, seven. Now that wasn't too bad. One, no effect. Fires, you know, he's going to get one or two men at the ranges he's firing at. Doesn't seem to bother him. Union offensive fire. Well, once again, I've run out of stuff to fire at. On the first core, front here, nothing. Up here, nothing. Let's see if we can shoot at this guy finally. God damn, the guns cannot fire. Oh, no wonder. Those bastards aren't horse artillery. Got it. That's pathetic. No, they have to be. Macintosh. Greg's Division Cavalry Corps. Well, I just turned them. They should be able to fire. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what the story is there. Well, let's keep banging away at this guy. Maybe we'll get a good shot here. Eight. Well, that's nothing to brag about, but it's better than they were doing. Three. Two. Yeah, he's disordered and isolated. Doesn't seem to be doing much good for me, though. Union melee. No, I don't want to melee that guy. Confederate movement. Okay. Well, he keeps bulking up, but so far away from anything that's beyond me what the strategy is. You want to bulk up when you're attacking and you're close to the enemy to make sure you uh, breach the line, but, you know, 15 hexes away, why would you want to do this? Okay. Well, now I can finally fire. Let's see if I can do something. Three men. Jesus. Two. Yeah, I'm going to prepare to leave. Two. I'm not going to do anything against that bozo. I'm just going to cut out. Oh, look at this guy. He's moved into the jaws of death now. I don't think he's improved his position. Oh, and he's routed because he moved. Ten. Okay, better already. Now these guys are dismounted. Eleven. Wow. Must be those old carbines. Ten. Twenty-two, and he's gone. Poof. Just the leader is there. I'm liking that. Okay, that's another scratch off. Confederate offensive. Oh, here we go again. One man. Fatigue. Two men. Two. Three. One. No effect. Fatigue. Okay. All right. My turn to move. Let's try finishing up the six core move. Now, we've got Torbit. Where's Eustace? Torbit. Eustace. Torbit Bartlett. Torbit. 
I moved off road. Okay, so we'll move Torbit off road there. Move Torbit off road there. And we'll move Bartlett down here. We'll move them up this path. We'll get Eustace down here. Bartlett. Torbit, who's behind him? Russell. Russell, Russell, okay. And here's Torbit, we'll get him on the road. One honking big car. Almost closed up. That's it for the six core. He can bring his flag back to uh, Robert E. Lee in order to go in there and get it. I'd have to disorder one of my cavalry regiments, and it's not uh, it's not worth it. If he comes out of there, I'll get it, but he probably won't, or he'll go north or something, which is okay. I'm mounting all these guys up and deploying along this cow path. Let's limber up the guns, get them back down here.
I could have done a better job on these counters. Should have just made them NATO counters. That would have been much better. It's more in tune with board gaming. slot here let's turn around and I'll just backtrack with these guys Okay, guess that's it. Let's go on to the next phase. Well, I actually, oh, psh, one regiment. Okay, on the Baltimore Pike. Oh, he's a pretty big one. 532 men. And yeah, we'll take him. Confederate defensive fire. Two. Fatigue. One. No effect. Four. One. Fatigue. Okay. Union offensive. Well, nothing anywhere, actually. Union melee? Nope. Confederate movement. Okay. Well, he's massing enough regiments uh, off the York Pike. I don't know whether that means he's going to advance or not. Oh, here we go. On Seminary Ridge, he pops out with two more regiments. Geez, where's your battle line? Two more regiments I get to shoot at. Okay, six guns. One of them's disordered and one's not. I'll shoot at the one that's not. Thirteen. It's another six guns. Twelve. Another six guns. Nineteen. That's about it. Oh, maybe these guys can. Four guns. Yeah, they can shoot too. Eleven. Thirteen. Oh, they're dinging that guy pretty good. Well, we've got two guns here. Oh, we still can shoot. Two. 
Let's see, that's not a very good place to be. Eight. Yeah. Okay. Anybody else pop out? Doesn't look like it. <laughs> that flag is going away. <laughs> This guy's dismounted. Well, maybe I'll turn around and see if I can get it next turn. He's still there. These guys are actually mounted up. They can go chasing after him. As soon as he gets in a woods, though, he's pretty much escaped. But I might have some fun. Confederate offensive fire. God, are we there again? Three, fatigue, one, no effect, five, one, no effect, no effect, Confederate melee, okay, Union movement. Well, okay. I don't have much. Let's finish up the sixth core here. So we've got Bartlett. Bartlett's going down this way. Bartlett. And some more. Who the hell is this? Oh, Eustace. Yeah, that's right. Okay, that fills up this slot. Uh... Bartlett, okay. Now oh, here's Torbett. I guess it'll follow Bartlett. Running out of room to deploy these guys. Just want to keep the brigades together, though. And here's more Torbit. So you can see the bar on the left side of the unit that indicates the brigade. Now these purple ones are Russell. Okay. I guess I'll go down this path and up the Wheatfield Road in the rear of the Third Corps just to keep all these guys on the road. This is Grant. Oh, his stuff is way, way behind here. So we're gonna take him off the road. This is Neil, so they're all intact. These guys get mixed up sometimes when they get on the road because a brigade will have some units way far away from the road and some real close. So if you want to begin your march immediately, you put the close guys on and sort them out later. But now we're sorting them out. Seven. Oh, here's 
like the end of it. Finally. Looks like one or two more turns and I'll be done moving the six core. Okay, let's go up here and check on the Calvary. Um, this guy's mounted. I think I'll go up and squash on that flag. Captured him. All right. This guy's dismounted, but we have to turn him. We'll send some artillery to him. We'll unlimber and turn it. Okay, that should guard that low pass. We really have nothing to do with this cavalry. They're just sitting here hanging out. So I'll put some more artillery down here so he doesn't get any ideas. Oh, Jesus, I can run limber. Yeah. And then we'll await events. Let's bring this mounted guys down here. And bring another battery up here. Hmm. On limber, can we turn it? Yes, we can. Very nice. We'll just slot these guys in here. that one guy moving down the road. There he is. He'll come up fast. All right. And let's do the next phase. Then that'll be it. One man. No effect. Two, one, three, no effect, no effect, no effect. Okay, and that is it for today. We will continue on next time.